In our discussion of sampling procedures, we learned that before taking a sample, we often want to know how large our sample needs to be in order to obtain a certain level of precision. Taking too large a sample is costly and wasteful, but taking too small a sample could render your research results unusable due to a lack of precision. Here we have the standard formula for a confidence interval. We can see that the confidence interval is expressed as the mean plus or minus what we call the margin of error. This margin of error is just something that we will denote with the letter E for now. So for example, we said that we can be 95% sure or we could be 68% sure that house prices were $350,000 plus or minus $3,000. Well, what if we wanted to be, um, what if we had a desirable level of confidence and a desirable margin of error? In that case, how big should our sample size be in, in order to meet our desires? We can use the equation for the margin of error to solve for the best possible n. So the margin of error is equal to z times the standard error of the mean. The standard error is equal to s over root n. All we have to do now is solve for n. In this case, we find that n is equal to z times s over the margin of error. So for a given margin of error and a given level of confidence, which, is, uh, which controls the size of z, and for a known level of standard deviation in our sample, we can decide exactly how big n has to be in order to achieve uh, our desired margin of error. Re let's look at an example. Researcher, researchers want to know the average house size in Salt Lake City. They want to be 95% confident about their estimate and they want their estimate to be within 100 square feet. So the margin of error in this case is 100 square feet. The confidence level is 95%. They go out and conduct a pilot study. And in that pilot study, they found that the standard deviation of the, of the house size was 1,500 square feet. In this case, how many houses must they sample? All we have to do here is plug in the numbers. The z-score for 95% confidence, we find that from our table to be 1.96. The standard error, sorry, the standard deviation is from our pilot sample. We found that to be 1,500 square feet. And the margin error of error is 100 feet. So when we do all the math, we find that n has to equal 864.36. So in order to guarantee that we can be 95% sure about our house size estimate within 100 square feet of error, we're going to need to sample at least 864.36 respondents, or n is going to have to be equal to 865.